What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Galaxy Note 9 and today we're back with a case from Spigen. This is going to be their Thin Fit Series 2 unbox. Do a quick review. As always we're going to throw up the link in the video description. Pricing on this particular color. This is going to be the ocean blue version that I was kind of waiting on. $12.99 for this one. It is on Prime. Comes in four different color options. You got like this purple or lilac purple color, like a graphite gray, and then a straight up black. So I went with the blue option. We'll see how that matches. I'll throw up the link always in the video description if you guys want to check it out. Presentation looks normal from Spigen. Got a little Spigen bringing up top. Galaxy Note 9 Thin Fit shows you the case that you're going to be getting, a little more branding on the side, and on the back is going to tell you a little more details about the particular case. That's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get to the unboxing and see if it's a hit or a miss for the Galaxy Note 9. Let's check out this blue because that's the most, impe most important feature to see if it's not really, but it, it's important to me to see if it matches up pretty nicely. Now, I actually like, it's got more of a matte finish to it. It's, it's a little slick. I wish it was a little more grippy, but you can tell the color looks very nice, very comparable to the actual ocean blue color that's actually on the Note 9. So that does look very nice. Uh, you got a little branding on the very bottom with the logo right there. Fingerprint sensor cut out, camera cut out right there. The bottom part is exposed, so anybody wanting that complete coverage on the bottom, this is not gonna be the case for you. It's just gonna give you some top coverage. This is gonna be one of those bare bones cases that's just gonna give you some basic protection for the back. Obviously, if you're looking for some more protection for the bottom of this one, you want to put a hard pass on this one. But the color does look pretty nice. Let's check this out, compare it. You can see it very similar. So they did a nice job getting the color right on this one for sure. The cutouts are exposed on all sides. And then again, the bottom is completely exposed as well. So let's go and check it out and put it in. See if it's a hit or miss together, guys. Again, you can't go into this one expecting it to be a completely... It's going to be one of those cases that's going to be very minimalist and not give you much protection. It's just going to give you some basic back protection and some side and top protection. And that's pretty much it. I wouldn't expect any type of lip coverage. Well, we'll check out that lip like we do it. Let's clean it up a little bit. So that blue does look really nice. So you can see that blue on blue. It's very close to being the exact color. So they did a nice job with the color scheme because you know if they did it if it was off a little bit you can kind of tell but this one looks very close so you got the fingerprint sensor right there it drops off it's a little bit more of a drop off than I would have expected but you are getting some nice camera coverage look at that so that's some decent camera coverage for such a minimalist case all the way around now it is a little bit I wish I would have been a little more smoother transition to the fingerprint sensor, but that's just my personal preference. It's got kind of like a little bump there, so it's just not quite as smooth as I would have liked. Let's check out that lip protection. And I was right. This is definitely not going to be for anybody who likes that big fat lip, but you can see you're getting just a little bit right there, maybe on the top, a little bit. Now this is rocking a tempered glass screen protector, but you can just see really no lip coverage at all volume up and down clicky and responsive because this is completely open and you can kind of see the difference in the blue right there just a, maybe a shade different but it does complement it really nicely they did a good job i'm not going to touch the bixby button we'll stay away from that everything looks precise and clean at the bottom because it's open easy access to the pin s pin no problems at all so you got that completely exposed so it is easy access to the s pin very nicely done power button right there you can see it right there look beautiful give you guys a look at this case let me give it a quick wipe down very nice look at that blue popping through what do you guys think about that i think if for anybody looking for a very minimalist case it's going to give you some grip it's not completely grippy i wish they'd have done maybe a little more grip on the sides especially for such a case that maybe is a little more slippery but the matte finish does create just a little bit of slipperiness but not too much it gives you a little bit of grip on the sides but i would like to see just a little more grip but it does look nice it doesn't appear to show the fingerprints either which is important to me at least so if anybody that's worried about fingerprints i don't see many fingerprints and if there are some with that material and easily be wiped off so let me give you guys a couple more angles of this one i think this is probably going to be a mini hit just because 
it's definitely not going to be for everybody because of the actual limited amount of protection but for anybody who wants a blue case that's going to match pretty nicely and keep it minimalist and it's just going to cover the back i'd say this is probably going to be a hit let me know what you guys think in the comment section hit or miss hit the subscribe button we'll see you guys next time